I don't know that I've ever worked with sicker patients than these COVID patients. They're just so fragile. Luke Vandenberg is a nurse on the front line in Michigan's fight against the deadly, still surging coronavirus. Here we are again, um, living the nightmare a third time. We call it front line because it's like wartime nursing. You're jumping from one crisis to the next. And you're doing so with, with too few staff and often too few resources. And that is why the Michigan Nurses Association is begging for help, meeting with Congresswomen Debbie Dingell and Rashida Tlaib to tell their stories. You wouldn't ask firefighters to go into burning buildings without oxygen, and nurses are not given the proper PPE to go in these rooms. The patients, they say, younger and sicker than ever before. The nurses, they say, a year into the pandemic, still without the proper PPE, understaffed and working 16-hour shifts, and they say they're not even being tested to make sure they're not infected. It is absurd that the football team at U of M gets tested every day, and the nurses in our hospitals are not. Nurses have brought this virus home and infected their families. The nurses telling lawmakers they're forced to wear the same N95 mask for a full shift while treating COVID positive and non-COVID patients. Some nurses only have surgical masks. Without the necessary PPE, nurses are at risk. When nurses are at risk, our patients are at risk. Patients who are sicker than ever and are nurses, instead of washing a patient's hair or holding a hand, are still helping them say goodbye via an iPad. She said her goodbyes to her husband that day. And I took care of her today, last night, in fact. And she's um, very likely going to die today. Um, she had a very bad night. Uh, sorry. Blinking back tears, the nurses asking the public to please wear their masks and get vaccinated. And they're asking President Joe Biden to keep his promise of an emergency temporary standard from OSHA, one that would address nurses' concerns and order hospitals to supply proper PPE. Hospital employers will not do the right thing unless they are made to do so. The lawmakers listening, learning, and appalled. I was stunned at what I heard. Uh, I'm deeply upset, but I also need to say to they are our heroes and to hear their personal stories. We both were crying. Nurses want to be able to take care of people, uh, but not under conditions that are sometimes impossible. The Congresswomen now reaching out to the White House as Michigan's nurses prepare for another shift in the COVID unit. We need to move with a sense of urgency. These are issues that can't be ignored. They must be addressed. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.